Hello and good morning car buyers. I'm Neil Pinkett, proprietor of Bath Cars and today's car is the Saab 95 2 litre Turbo Estate. And this is the ARC model, so it's quite nicely spec'd up. Alloy wheels, air conditioning, which is actually working and blows cold. Uh, it's the 2 litre Turbo, I think that's 150 brake horsepower. And it's been in the same person's ownership right from day one. First of all, it was a company car and then it's registered to them privately. So, uh, two names on the lot book, but just uh, one owner from new. Uh, really, really good history as well, absolutely minter's history. So p bear with me if you want to have a look at that a bit later on, which we'll come to in about three minutes or so. So um, metallic uh, grey is the colour, and uh, roof bars fitted, heated front screen, uh, in very good condition as well, it's not bad at all, no cracks or... Actually, is there a little stone chip? Pass right on the passenger side, no major stone chips there. Front fogs, one's got a crack in it on this uh, near side, the other one's fine. Fresh number plates fitted. Headlight washers, and there are the original Saab supplying dealers number plates on the back of the car, so it's actually had its original plates right the way through its life, so not bad going nine years with the same set of plates on it. Okay, uh, electric mirrors, electric windows all round, remote central locking, two keys. Uh, discs and pads all round, and the rear discs uh, are um, used, and the pads are fairly low actually on the back, they're going to need replacing soonish. The tyre is a uh, budget brand, but is uh, practically new. This one up front um, is very good order as well. Again, a 21555R16, and the pads on the front are absolutely bursting with life. Loads to go on those. Um, although, uh, actually, that tyre is uh, less than 10% worn as well, so those two tyres are good. That one there, again, plenty of meat on the tyre and the pad. And this one here, oh, plenty of meat to go. So, your tyres, you've got absolutely tons of where to go. The high level brake light, rear wash wiper will work. The boot space is uh, tidy, not been savaged. It's uh, got the baggage cover in good condition. Uh, cup, three mats here. Alas, the, pass, the driver's side one's probably worn. The original luggage net from Saab is there as well. The uh, spare wheel, tyre wheel brace jack, and locking wheel nut is all present in the back there. There we go the original plates are there as well. Okay, so uh, bodywork wise, well, I think the car is about as clean as you're ever going to get on a nine-year-old car. It's very straight and tidy. I don't think there's a mark on it in terms of... Uh, here we go. <laughs> Look now. Little tiny mark in the wheel arch there. Nothing much to worry about. All pretty good and spot on. Right, we'll have a look at the history a moment. Okay, welcome to the uh, history and documents then for the Saab. V5 shows uh, two owners in total. Actually, it looks to me like the uh, owner has owned the car since new, actually, two, two owners, but uh, London Clancy, and then the surname of the person is also Clancy, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was registered um, as a business and then privately, so there's probably a little bit more to it than... Uh, yeah, RG21, RG28. So it's probably a Mr. Clancy who owns the company and owns the car. Uh, so really, probably just one owner from new. Uh, the registration date is 2603-2003. And uh, the car is a 95 ARC uh, with a 1990cc motor in it, uh, 223 grams per kilometre. And it's petrol. And uh, it's a manual, this car. And that's about it, really. That's the V5. The MOT is current and valid until 23rd of February 2013, and there were no advisory notices. And um, the service history is very impressive, actually. Not many like this. This one's got service history running from uh, the very word go. Mileage was 5,000 at the pre delivery inspection, then 5,900, 18,000. All Newbury Saab, Newbury Saab, Newbury Saab, again 30 and 43. And then it goes to Bryant and Freeman, which is a garage in Basingstoke. Uh, 43,000, 56,000, 64,000, 69,000, sorry, full service then. 79,000 and 91,000. Over the page, another one at 100k in uh, March 2011. And in March 2012, it should be 2012, the mechanics had brain fade, put 2403, 2012, 
111,000 miles. Uh, another service was conducted then. So that's, uh, I think, that nine services from new. And we do have a spare key. And so there are two remote uh, keys with the car. Okay, back to the vehicle. Uh, just to add on to the service history wise, we've just got uh, some receipts and bills that I didn't go through. Uh, £122, dated uh, October 2011, so a year ago. Uh, remove and fit new front brake pads. Is there a mileage? Is there a mileage? Yeah, no. Sorry about that. But uh, date wise, that's uh, just under a year ago. And 24th of the 2nd, 2012, was a service at £177, including oil filter, engine oil, sump plug, and MOT test. Uh, 09 2011 tyres invoiced at £76.80. Uh, March 2011 speedo reading 100,000 miles, £107 for an oil service. At 100,000 miles as well, ooh, oosh, 900, uh, £597. Carry MIT repairs, remove centre exhaust section, offside rear handbrake cable, fuel tank assembly, make up and fit new side rear brake pipes, so it has had brake pipes all done on the back, and some unions and joiners, etc. 597 that was, so it's a hell of a price at 101k. 91,000 miles, service at £172. Carry out full service, engine oil, oil filter, spark plugs, etc. 91k for that. Uh, £105, crankshaft sensor has been replaced. They're a bit of a pain. 86,000 miles, that's been done. Uh, date here, 2009, February. Service again, 93 quid. And at 69,000 miles, another service, 237 pounds. Oil filter, engine oil, cabin filter, brake cleaner, etc. Done at uh, 69,000 miles. And some old MOTs. Okay, just adding that on to the service history. So there's the book, which you've seen already. Okay, welcome back then. So uh, electric windows all around, tinted glass. Three inertia rear safety belts for passenger safety and three headrests. Courtesy lights are working fine and the roof lining is in tip top condition. Pockets in the back of the seats and centre armrest is there. And the leather is in pretty good order, not bad at all. Up the front then, so mirrors all good. Boot release remote, petrol cap release remote. Driver's seat while well, not looking in too bad a condition at all really. Pedal rubbers and floor mat all looking absolutely spot on. Cruise control works fine. Volume control for the hi-fi, seat, etc. CD player. Nice radio cassette machine, which is dead easy to operate. And the old best cup holder in the business. Look at this then. I love that. I think that is such a sleek design. Excellent. Storage, coins, all the windows. The usual centre. Uh, key where you put it in reverse to take the key out and works fine. Handbrake's got uh, the right amount of travel and feels perfect. And the aircon with its uh, displays and everything all works fine. So let's fire her up a moment. Uh, out of gear. So absolutely starts on, okay on the button. Headlights all work fine. You've seen the fog, light, fog lights working. Temperature gauge, fuel gauge. Overall odometer 116252. Airbag light, ABS lights all go out as they should. Traction control on this car as well. Non-smoker, never been used. Ashtray. Clutch. Clutch feels fine. Good biting point. And the gear change is smooth and as it should be. We've got owner's manuals. There's the original Saab tax disc holder. Let me chucked in the bin. But all the owner's manuals are there, and yeah, there we go, just as it should be. And there are a few old bulbs and things in there, but nothing of any consequence. The passenger seat looks really spot on as well. Auto dipping rear view mirror, and as I said to you, the rear wash wiper and everything all works fine. There's the rear wash wiper going. I've driven the car about 20 to 25 miles, and it drives absolutely spot on. The steering wheel's in good order as well. If you're a Saab enthusiast, this will be a real gem, actually. It's a really nice conditioned car, and as you've seen by the history, well looked after. Idling over absolutely perfectly. There's no timing belt to do, it's just a timing chain, so hallelujah, happy days. No cam belt to worry about. Straightforward timing chain. 
nice big bus there for somebody. Two litre turbo Arc Estate. Well, I know I've waffled on about it, but it is a straight looking car and I'll just leave you to mull it over. So don't delay, give me a call. Thank you.